Hey, welcome back, everybody, to another segment of Wednesday Wisdom on the Educational AD Podcast. If you've been listening to this podcast for a while, you know that we say we do three things. We uh, let people share their story, brag about their school, and share tips with other athletic directors and coaches. One more thing that we're proud of is we've given voice to young and aspiring professionals in this arena. And we've got one of those today. I had a chance to meet with Abby Kane a while back. Uh, she's uh, definitely what I would call a rising star in our profession. Um, I'm going to let her share a little bit about uh, who she is and what she's currently doing. But we'd like to welcome to our Wednesday Wisdom team from Mercyhurst University, Abby Kane. Abby, welcome. Hi, Jake. Thank you so much for having me today. Um, as you guys know, I'm Abby Kane. I'm a junior student athlete at Mercyhurst University in Erie, Pennsylvania. I'm currently studying marketing and sports business management, and I'm excited to share how a powerful shift in my mindset has helped me begin my journey in the sports industry. Okay. Abby and I had a chance to connect a while back. Uh, I you know, heard her story. You know, I told her a little bit about the podcast and as we got talking, I just knew she'd be a great fit. And again, I'm excited to, to watch her star rise uh, as she continues in the profession. So uh, Abby, I'm going to get out of the way. Uh, what do you have for our listeners this week on Wednesday wisdom? Okay. So I'm going to start with just a little background about myself. So I grew up in Hamburg, New York, which is right outside of Buffalo go Bills. And I was the youngest of three. And as you can imagine, that is quite competitive growing up. From watching sports at a young age, whether it was the Buffalo Bills, Buffalo Sabres, New York Yankees, or even golf, I loved it. But I really loved competing. Sports have always been a constant in my life, and especially soccer. I started playing at the age of five, and I've played all the way up to now at the division two level here at Mercyhurst University. So in my first preseason soccer game of my soccer um, of my sophomore year, I was going in from across for my teammate and I collided with the opposing team's goalkeeper. I heard two pops and I knew immediately that my season was over when it hadn't even started yet. All the hours that I spent training in the offseason to finally get this one season right was put to the side. I had torn my ACL and my MCL. The injury that seems to rule women's soccer, the shock was unreal, and it was a really heartbreaking day for me. In this time, I knew I needed to take my time off the field to find another way to get involved with other opportunities that I typically wouldn't be able to see as a student athlete. To first, not only distract myself from all the long days of rehab off of the field, but also to explore another side of myself and find a new way of expression. So I've always been very involved in my community. And at the end of my freshman year at Mercyhurst, my professor, Dr. John Parente, pulled me aside to pair a sports business major with my already existing marketing major. And I had no idea what effect this was going to have on me in the next year. After I had gotten my first taste of sports business classes in the fall of my sophomore year, I had gone through the early stages post-surgery, I knew it was time for me to get involved. It all began in the spring when I was granted the opportunity to attend two case study competitions. The first was the College Sport Research Institute case study competition at the University of South Carolina. Myself and three fellow women in sport at Mercier's, Emily Blount, Paige Woodford, and Alyssa Schahowski, were tasked to propose a strategic plan that reimagined the governance of the NCAA. This experience to work alongside these women had really inspired me on my growth as learning more about the sports industry and learning how to help student athlete mental health through an app that we had created for the competition. We ended up not winning this competition, but then we did find success on the podium, taking home first place at our next case study competition at Indiana University, Pennsylvania, where we created a marketing plan for a minor league baseball team. These case study competitions not only helped, um, helped prepare me for what was in store next, but they helped build up my confidence as 
um, aspiring sports professional. The journey really began when I took a leap of faith applying for an international sports business program called Living Sport. It would take place in London, England in June of 2023, and Living Sport was created to give those passionate about sport and international work experience while connecting with like-minded people and program alumni in the industry. I was going to study abroad at the end of the spring semester in Rome with Mercyhurst Art Therapy Program, learning about art and serving those in less fortunate communities in Rome, and the Living Sport Program perfectly aligned with the time when I would be abroad. So I was over the moon that this finally, all the stars aligned that I was able to be granted this opportunity by the founder of Living Sport, Alicia Marinelli. This 10 day London program had such a huge impact on me and I can't wait to share it with you all. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here. Uh, again, I just love listening to the stories that our guests share. Um, uh, take our listeners, if you can, you know, through some of the um, things that, you know, again, you're a, a student athlete, you know, so you've been involved in athletics for a while. But the the thing that I that really attracted me to your profile was the work that you've already done in marketing and promotion. And, and that's become such a big part of the high school and the college athletic director uh, experience. So, um yes. What are some of the experiences that you've already had? And maybe as you share, you know, what are some tips uh, or ideas that you can pass on to our listeners who are, again, primarily high school and college athletic directors? Yes. Yeah, so um, in my time in London, I got very much exposed to work experience, dove right in. We, I was able to work the 31st annual Royal Windsor Triathlon, which for those who don't know, um, it is what a huge event in Windsor, England, and athletes from all countries come to compete in this triathlon. And so we worked, my team, we had to set up the triathlon course, work on event branding and sponsorship activation around the venue, and also break down the 2300 athlete event that spanned over 32 miles in length. So as you can tell, this was a pretty big task we had on our hands, but definitely as working together, we were able to make this event a real success. Um, my role more um, personally in this experience was to help run the transition zone of athletes. So I had to take the event instructions from my team and help all the athletes manage all of their bike gear, have the best pregame race day experience so they could be confident in their ability to compete the next day and then also make sure they were getting in and out of that transition zone as fast as they could to um i mean have the best triathlon they could experience um and it was incredibly rewarding and apart from that triathlon during our time in london we were also able to do a lot of different sports business workshops and i am a huge premier league fan so growing up, you know, watching soccer and just being a part of that atmosphere, I was able to see West Ham United, Chelsea and Tottenham, which I am a fan of. And that was really just a surreal experience to be able to do that. Yeah, I've so, actually, I, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I was going to say, I've actually had a chance to to be over in England and uh, and take in a, a premier match. And you're absolutely right. There's just nothing like it. Uh, in the United States to match that fan uh, experience. Okay. I'm, I'll yeah. step back now. No, nothing like it. Um, I have yet to go to a match, but I was able to see kind of the behind the scenes, how the businesses work. And that was really incredible, especially for as I'm figuring out my way through the industry, um, just figuring out what I would like to do with my life and just kind of reflecting on those experiences Without tearing my ACL, I wouldn't have been granted any of those opportunities, and I would not know um, without those people. And if it weren't for my professor, Dr. John Parente, helping me step outside my comfort zone throughout this whole process of experiences, I don't think I would probably be confidently speaking with you today, Jake, on this podcast and being able to tell my story. So definitely have a lot of growth in the past year. And I think 
having the ability to turn a negative into a positive is a skill that we should all aspire to have in our lives. Um, I find myself doing it even more so now when I make mistakes. Oh, I was meant to learn from this by doing that the wrong way this time. It's not always the best thing to have that happen, but it's always a way we can push ourselves to get to that next level, that we can be the best versions of ourselves and how we can make our environment around us the best possible place it can be for everyone. Um, I definitely think I can be more creative in my problem solving in this area, but just having that find the good attitude and just radiating that positive energy that seems infectious with everyone is just really what we should all inspire. Um, it just kind of makes me think of one of my personal stories back when I would play soccer in at Hamburg High School brings me back to my junior varsity coach who would push us through some pretty intense trainings at the time. And he always preached to me and my teammates, embrace the suck, it won't last forever. And that short phrase has really just propelled my way each day through every day of my life, especially in this past year. Just because something's um, a rough time now doesn't mean it will be in the future and you can't let it just sit with you. You just have to embrace all that's going on and then push through and find that light on that end of the tunnel. Oh, absolutely. Uh, there's no question about it. And uh, there's a lot of different ways to uh, to articulate that, embrace the suck. But it, it really is, you know, every job, every profession has its grind, if you will. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's the job. Um, uh, again, for our listeners, we're visiting today with Abby Kane. She's uh, currently an undergraduate student athlete at Mercyhurst University, uh, soccer player. And she's also, uh, she works in the um, marketing, um, sports marketing program there. Um, she's going to be a regular contributor on our Wednesday Wisdom team. But uh, before we turn you loose, um, as I mentioned, you work with uh, the college and you also work with uh, the Erie Sports Commission in marketing and promotions. You know, what's one thing that you've done? And I know you're you're at the beginning mm -hmm. of your journey here, but what's something that you've done with one of those organizations in that marketing area, promotion area that you've been really proud of, you know, that you can share with our listeners right now before we let you go? Yeah, Um. so... As Jake said, I am with the Erie Sports Commission, um, working under Mark Jenneret and Ben Hugler. So they have been great guides for me as I have just been there for just about a month this week. So I'm pretty fresh in the atmosphere, but um, the Erie Sports Commission, they're a sports tourism agency, and it's kind of the hubbub of sports happenings in Erie. So we want to bring different sporting events from all around the world to Erie, Pennsylvania, which is just a great place for that. So right now I'm kind of learning how to reach out with different event bids and figuring out what events we can bring to the area. So please, if anyone's looking for events, bring them to Erie. And right now we're working on the buildup for some of our marketing for Lake Erie Cycle Fest. That doesn't happen until July, but just the buildup right now, we're getting out to send out our registration tomorrow and kind of I'm aiming to hopefully get some user generated content to build up that hype for that event and really make it a big cycle fest that it has been for the Erie area while it is nice and sunny and not cold and snowy as it is as it is now <laughs> but yeah yeah and, and again it's we everyone starts somewhere and it's great to see that you're already even as an undergrad getting some great experience and being involved with some great projects with some pretty impressive results too um one of the most important tools that uh, i share with uh coaches and athletic directors is the tool of networking building your network so if one of our listeners wanted to reach out and find out more about Mercyhurst University or some of the things that you've done and simply expand their network, what's the best way they can get a hold of Abby Kane? 
Um, if you look at, up my name, Abigail Kane on LinkedIn, you should be able to find me there. Or you can also reach to, out to me via email. It's abbykane 25 at gmail.com. All right. Well, Abby Kane, welcome officially to the uh, Wednesday Wisdom Team on the Educational Lady Podcast. All the best with your continued training and uh, sports promotion at Mercyhurst and Erie Sports Commission. And uh, we're going to look forward to the next time we have you back on the Educational AD Podcast. Yes. Thank you so much again, Jake, for having me. I'm now back on the soccer field. So maybe the next time something exciting will be happening with that. Who knows? But I really enjoyed sharing my story and I hope that um, the listeners can find something that resonates with them and help us all find more positives in our lives. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. For our listeners, uh, we do this every single week and we upload the Zoom recordings to the Educational Lady Podcast YouTube channel. Of course, we appreciate you, your support. Uh, come back next Wednesday for another great Wednesday Wisdom guest and just about every day for new content on the Educational AD Podcast. We'll see you next time. Before we go, as always, we want to give a shout out to our sponsors. Uh, remember, go visit our sponsors. They are going to help you um, do your job better. We want to thank Huddle. Go to Huddle.com, Home Campus, like HomeCampus.com. How about Hometown Ticketing? Go to HometownTicketing.com. Sideline Interactive, indoor score tables and video boards. Go to SidelineInteractive.com for more information. Snap raise the best fundraiser out there go to snapraise.com vital signs wall of fame go to vital signs wall of fame.com athletic surveys by lifetrack go to athletic surveys.com and gipper uh, the official social media graphic solution for us go to gipper.com thanks again for listening we'll see you next time on wednesday wisdom on the educational 80 podcast <music>